Hey there TRW crew, what's going on? It's me Bobby, and today I'm going to show you how to cut three colors at the same time on one Cameo mat. I have my signed vinyl that I'm going to be using for the decal, and I have this design out of our Basketball Parents mini pack. I'll go ahead and link that below so you can go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So first thing I want to do is open up my design, which is the Basketball Dad 01. I bring it onto my cutting mat or design area, which I do want to ungroup that. I don't really need that weeding box because I'm going to change the look of this design. First thing I want to do is create a grid. I want to create four even squares so I know exactly where my decal is going to fit and exactly how much signed vinyl I'm needing to put on my cutting mat. So first thing you're going to want to do to make that grid is you're going to see these rulers on the top and on the right. You're going to click that ruler on the right and drag to exactly the six inch mark. Same thing for the top ruler, you're going to click and drag and bring that line horizontally down to the 6 inch mark and then you'll have 4 perfect squares. Second thing I need to do is create an offset so I can have that color in the background to create this 2 color decal. Super easy, you're just going to select your basketball dad design. Over to the right is a little star with an outline around it. You're going to click offset. You can make this as big or as small as you'd like. Of course, keeping in mind you want to keep it within your square that we've created, your six inch square. So I changed the color to orange. I want to copy and paste that background because I'm going to be using that same decal in the same background. Of course, just changing the colors. This wouldn't really matter to change the colors, I guess it's just for me visually and just for you visually because we are not cutting by color because we want to cut this all on the same cutting mat at once. Of course make sure you have your correct material selected to be cut. Again I'm using FDC sign vinyl so I don't have to mirror this, it's not a heat transfer vinyl. So I have my three colors. I'm going to show you a super easy way to cut a perfect six inch square. So on the cutting mat you have your markings for six inches and they also have more defined lines to create a perfect crosshair in the middle of the cutting mat. So I go ahead and just line up my material with the six inch mark as you can see here. And then what I'm going to do is flip the cutting mat so that way I have a clear way to see how exactly I'm going to cut that 6 inch square. And I'm going to do the same thing for the orange material. Again lining it up with the 6 inches. Now since the black is all in the bottom. I'm not going to cut it 6 by 6 inches. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it 12 by 6 inches. So I'll just, since I have a 12 foot piece here, I'm just going to go and lay half of it on the bottom. So there you have your three pieces. It's cutting the gold, the orange, and the black all at the same time in one cut. Which I think is really cool because before you'd have to cut the orange, unload it, load up your gold, cut the gold, so this just saves you tons of time. So after I get done cutting it, of course I'm going to unload and go ahead and weed my design. I am going to keep it on the cutting mat, I don't really feel the need to take it off. Everything's just going to be next to one another. pretty cool though. I like this idea. If you have more than one decal you have to make it a time. Of course it doesn't have to be the same design. You could do two different designs with two different colors, even four different colors. You really could play around with the possibilities. The only tip I would say is just keep in mind that using the same material because once you start putting maybe a magic flock or glitter, I mean then you gotta go into different cut settings. You gotta stop the cutter. Just keep to the same material. So now I cut a piece of my decal vinyl application tape. Lay it over 
the top. Make sure it's squeegeed on there really nice. I'll do the same for the next one. And then just eyeballing it to make sure it goes exactly where I want it to and nice and centered. I don't really need registration marks. For me personally, it's just two layers. But if you do, you could always do registration marks. But I just eyeball it. So now that I have both of those basketball dads layered on the colors, I'm going to go ahead and now peel them off my cutting mat. I'll just go ahead and trim them up. All right, and there you have it. This design and the cutting process took me in total maybe like five minutes. Again, you can go ahead and buy that Basketball Parents Decal Mini Pack. It is on sale right now. If you guys are interested in starting your own decal business, of course we do have kits that are centered around what you need to get started. If you have any questions, go ahead and email us. If you like the video, go ahead and follow and subscribe. Go ahead and do that on Facebook as well and Instagram. And we're always updating with new videos and new ideas. So just stay tuned and thanks for watching.